Hey everyone, I am back for the second and the final video. Ladies and gentlemen, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell and of course you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry my viewers, I will discuss my social media accounts after this lovely video is completely over. Now, switch gear, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this lovely subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there will be just an article for this one, I'm sorry. Okay, probably you know, or don't know, that Vince Kennedy McMahon was backstage of SmackDown, and he made some major changes, typical. This guy, I'm sorry for the this, has a major ego. And I guarantee the wrestlers were very, very uncomfortable. What are they going to do now with these wrestlers? Are they eventually going to walk out, ask for their release? McMahon, leave things alone. It was perfectly fine before you got back into this damn business. I'm sorry. He just had a major ego. He does. So, I guess there's a lot of changes, you know? So, probably you know what was the original matches. Just leave it alone. Of the original plan of a SmackDown. What a flippant idiot. I'm sorry. So, a recent re report that shed light on, on the last minute changes, I should say, that took place backstage before airing of a SmackDown this week, just say last night. According to a report from Fight for Select, um, let me see here. Eliminate um, promo matches. The selling shift the plans left many talent frustrating. Of course, I'll be mad too if McMahon. Change the matches, you know, eliminate the matches they supposed to have, you know. And then, a fun fact, Charlotte Flair was not blocked to be on a show last night. And I guess McMahon said, you know what, let's have Charlotte Flair on the, the show, of course. You know, I really think Charlotte Flair kisses butt or McMahon just loves Charlotte Flair because of Ric Flair. Who knows what the hell is really going backstage, you know? I wonder how Triple H feels about these major changes on Raw, major changes on SmackDown. No wonder the viewership goes up, then it hits a major rock bottom. Because of all because of Vince. It's not because the wrestlers, they try their hardest. It's McMahon. He's the one who pulls the damn strings backstage. No wonder no one does not give a flying crap about SmackDown. Well, it, it comes and goes. The only good part about SmackDown was the main event. That's the only good thing about SmackDown. And of course, no Roman Reigns shocker. He should be there every single Friday night leading up to Money Bank. Now he's going to be there next Friday night because it's the night... Close to Money Bank. Of course he's going to flip and be there, you know? Stupid. But anyway. You know he's going to do this again. So this is not really a big change. I mean, this is not really new. He's going to keep doing this and, until the until the wrestlers says, I can't deal with this crap anymore. I want my release or I'm just going to walk out. It will happen again. Nothing will ever change with this silly willy company until McMahon... Decided to just step away permanently. And of course he will never step away. He had that major ego. I know he did great things. In the attitude era. The Russian aggression era. Even the golden era. But now. He lost his touch. We all know that. He just needs to step away. You know. I guarantee you, Triple H feels embarrassed. Why in the hell. You want to mess with my lineup. Vince. I just know he, he said that. You know. Backstage or. In his head, you know. He 
you know, I know he's a genius, but this is 2023, and you can't make great matches, great storylines anymore. You lost your touch. I know a lot of you will not agree with me. Oh, well. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, TikTok, sorry. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you might be part of the Robert Show, that's fine. And then if not, don't worry about it. Next week sometime will be my Money Bank Productions. I don't know when. Probably next Friday. Then the review will be up on... Uh, I don't know what day I'm going to do, do, do the review. So check it out. My friends in London, lucky him. So check out the show Money Bank next Saturday. And I think he's going to go with SmackDown on Friday night. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your... Sarah, and I'll be back tomorrow. Peace out and stay safe.